What's going on, y'all? All right, in this video, I am going to show y'all how I shine my AGSU shoes. Now, I could have wore them to break them in, so that way, after you shine them, there's no crease of it cracking, or the cracking shows after it creases, vice versa. <clears throat> so, as you can see, the shoe is very dull when they're brand new, just like anything else that needs to be shined. Luckily, I just got these because they have a shortage out right now for the pants, the cap, etc. For the AGSU. Now, for the ASUs, they have everything. This being the new and just due to supply demands, there is a shortage across every post. So, we're going to start off with the left shoe. Again, I said it's dull, just like every shoe that needs to be polished when you first get them. So I'm using a water bottle right here, empty. Kiwi set, the brown one. Well, I dropped it. But here you see it, brand new. You don't have to use a lighter, but uh, you can if you want. And next you're going to take the wool cloth. And you're gonna take your water bottle and just spritz a little bit of water in there. Now, uh, if I had some cotton balls, I would have used that to swirl around a shoe, but I don't. So I just have to take this wool rag that comes with it and uh, it comes with the kit, excuse me. And you just work it in the shoe, right? You're gonna go in a swirling motion whether you're going to go uh, left or you can go right. But uh, you will see a shine once you've uh, put some elbow grease into there. And um, right here, you can already see a light shine. And there goes my bottle. You just wrap it around your finger, the wool cloth, and you're going to go in a swirling motion. Now, for the new personnel that come into the Army, y'all get issued the AGSU and you know I'm pretty sure they show y'all in basic how to do this but just for those new to the uniform this is what you're going to want to do so I'm applying more polish to it because I didn't like that after the first polish with the wool rag it still needed some more so you'll see here I'm just uh, applying some more Working it into the shoe. Speed up here a bit. All right, and now back to polishing it with the wool, wool rag. Back in a swirling motion. So this could get boring, but if you enjoy what you're doing, because the hard work's going to pay off here in a few, it won't seem boring. I actually enjoyed the process. And I'm using gloves because this polish will get your skin dirty. I got some on my wrist and it took some time to get off. So here can you see it. See this shine? Just a little bit of water goes a long way. I will speed it up.
I'm putting everything back now. Here you can see it. Decent shine. Better than what it was. So I'm going to show you compared to the other shoe. All right, you're going to see the difference here. Look at that. That is dull. Right, it's uh it doesn't have that same shine. Now, I'm not done here. Right, you're going to see in a minute. I'm going to add the finishing touch, but uh you can see it. On the left shoe is just um it's very it looks like an unfinished shoe, if you will. So here's another comparison between the two. On the right, it's polished. On the left, it's just unpolished. So let me know what y'all think. Again, the finishing touch is going to come on here, and you're going to see how much better. Because without the finishing touch, it still has kind of like um, some swirl marks. So, this is the polishing pad, or the applicator pad with the polish polisher. So, I'm going to go one more time. So, that's three times. Right, I wasn't satisfied how it came out. So, I'll speed it up. So as the saying go, third time's a charm, right? So this is after a third time polish. Here you see it. Looks a lot better on the third time go around. Whereas on the left, it's, you know, just, it doesn't have that sheen. So this is the final touch. It is the express shine, right? You press it down and that liquid in the middle releases. So, you just brush it across the shoe. I'm pressing it to see if it'll come out, but it just comes out slowly, right? See, I'm still trying to press it here. Once you've pressed it, go ahead and start polishing your shoe in a swirl motion and back and forth. Kind of like you're using the brush, right? You're going to see the difference in the shine that this gives for the express shine. Now... I wouldn't advise using this first versus not polishing your shoe. Now, will it work? Probably, but I don't think you'll get the nice shine like you would if you were to polish your shoe first. So, buff it first the right way. You know, apply the, the polish, then rub it in with the, uh, with the brush. Then you're going to use the wool rag with the water, and then... Once you're done with the finishing touch, you're going to add this. Or once, you, once you're done with everything, you're going to add the finished touch. Bear with me. This is, uh, you know, to help myself out and to help you all out. But as you can see, going back and forth with this, the swirl marks are going away. Which I'm, I was amazed while I was doing this. This is coming out great. Now... I am going to purchase some edge dressing just for the the bottom piece. Um, does it need it? No, because these are brand new. But uh, will I add it? Yeah, I can. Because once the dust settles in there, it's going to look not so good. So just take the express shine, get it on the tongue, get it on the sides and the back.
So now I'm going to compare the two. You see the difference with the Express Shine? After you've polished everything, it just looks great. Whereas on the, I'm doing the Gladiator, you know, thumbs sideways. So, yeah, it, uh, big difference, you know. I'm, uh, I just love the way it looks. So here it is again, the brown Kiwi shoe polish. The applicator pad. The shoe polish. The shoe brush, the wool rag that it comes with, you gotta find some more of this stuff. You wrap it in your finger like that when you're polishing your shoe. And a spray bottle, just water. And for the finishing touch, the Express Shine works great like I said don't use it before you want to polish the shoe first now I could have used it before but I didn't want to I guess the best way I can use is be lazy I wanted to actually you know polish the actual shoe and make it look great now could have been done better probably but this is decent if you ask me especially you know, if you have a uniform inspection coming up or if you DA photo, etc. Now for DA photos, right, you don't have to wear the shoe, but I always wear the shoe. You just, um, you're standing and they're not going to show your feet. So I'm going to lace them up right here. I go under, I don't go over. I don't know about you, but I, I rather go under. I, I like that. I do that with all my shoes, even my boots. So make sure the shoe laces are even. It's like you're threading a needle. I tell you what, can't wait to actually wear these. I've been waiting for some stuff to come in because I don't want to have a incomplete uniform uh, do bear in mind uh, I did speed up some of parts of the video uh, that way you don't have to sit here and listen to me but just to get some of the points across you can watch it for about 10-15 minutes and then I've sped up a lot of it that way you can see the process without actually having to hear me ramble And there you have it. Your AGSU shoes are laced up and good to go. So uh, just pulling out some of the wool fuzz. But uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, admire your work. Take pride in what you do and it'll come out nice. Right? Nothing happens overnight and things take time. Here you can see just... Uh, very dull looking, no sheen or shine. Whereas you see this. So. Now, here it is sped up. So, I won't talk anymore. And uh, I'll meet y'all at the end. All right.
All right, so we've made it to the end. AGS shoes all laced up. This is the entire kit I used. I hope you all enjoyed this video and process as much as I did. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all.